Unit two. What do you do? What do you do? Exercise number one. Snapshot. Top six student part-time jobs in the United States. What are the top six student part-time? Part-time job opposite full-time job. Part-time job, a job. For only a few hours or days a week. Part-time job, a job for only a few hours or days a week. In America, what are the most famous part-time jobs? Number one, Asher. What's an usher? He's an usher. Usher, a person who takes tickets and helps people to their seats. This is in a cinema, a movie theater. So usher works in a movie theater. Usher takes tickets, takes tickets. And helps people to their seats to have a seat to sit down. Two American tutor, British tutor. Tutor, a person who teaches private lessons. A person who teaches private lessons. Two. Tutor, three, team assistant, a team assistant, a person who provides support to team, a person who gives support to a team, he supports his team. Four, caregiver, caregiver. She's an old woman, an old lady, and this is a young lady. The young lady is caregiver. Caregiver. What does a caregiver do? Caregiver is a person who cares for someone who's sick. A person who cares for someone who's sick, sick, ill, or very old. Five, server. Look at the picture. This is a restaurant. Server, a person who serves food, such as waitress. Server, a person who serves food, and this is a customer. Number six. This is like a jam. Fitness instructor. Fitness instructor, a person who leads exercise classes. A person who teaches other students how to be fit. Which jobs are easy? Which are difficult, and why? Here, an answer is correct, but I think an usher is an easy job. A server is an easy job. It's very easy, but I think a caregiver is very difficult job because you help sick people, very old people, so. You need to be patient and have experience about emergency and medical care. What's your opinion? Are these good jobs for students? I think all of these jobs are good jobs for students because students like to help the community, the society. 
What are some other students' jobs? What are other jobs? We have different other jobs. Let's have a look in this PowerPoint presentation. Pilot flies planes. Interpreter translates things. A nurse looks after people in hospitals. Barman serves drinks. An accountant looks after money. A journalist writes for a newspaper. A postman delivers letters. An architect designs buildings. A shopkeeper sells things. Sells things. Word power. Complete the word map with jobs from the list. So I have here the list, cashier, chef, company director, dancer, flight attendant, musician, pilot, receptionist, server, singer, tour guide, website designer. Put the words here, which jobs are office work, work inside an office like company director. Travel industry in the, in the work work in traveling like flight attendant airplanes entertainment business business for having fun food service in the service of making food cooking the food okay in restaurants any place one minute try to answer. Office work, company director, two, receptionist, website designer, secretary, sales manager, travel industry, flight attendant, pilot, tour guide, travel agent, Hotel manager, food service, server, cashier, chef, dishwasher, waiter, waiter, baker, baker, someone who bakes, bakes bread, entertainment business, business for fun, dancer, musician, singer, Actor, disc jockey, DJ, actor, actress, disc jockey. Exercise number three. Three. Work and workplaces. Look at the pictures. Match the information in columns A, B, and C. You match A, B, C. First picture. She's what? She's a salesperson. She's a salesperson. What does she do? She sells clothes. A salesperson. She sells clothes. Where does she work? She works in a department store. Job, column A. B, what does the person do? C, the place of work. Place of job. A chef. What does a chef do? Hmm. Chef cooks food. Where? In a restaurant. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Three, flight attendant. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Four, carpenter. Carpenter. Builds houses. Four, a construction company. So here, a carpenter in the USA. Maybe she's a woman. Can be a man or woman. 
and they build houses. They made the house of wood. Five receptionists. Receptionist. What does he do with the receptionist? He answers the phone in an office. So receptionist answers the phone in an office. In an office. Don't say in an office. No, in an office. An office. A nurse. A nurse cares for patients. This is a patient, sick or ill. Nurse cares for patients. Where does she work? She works in hospital. So a nurse cares for patients in hospital. In hospital, American, British hospital. O as A. Exercise 4. Yes. In exercise 4, conversation, where do you work? Conversation, where do you work? Now, look at the picture. What do you see here? Hmm. This is what? Hamburger, hamburger heaven. This is a restaurant, maybe. What's the job? Cashier. These are customers, customers, cashier. Burger or hamburger. What is the name of the restaurant? Hamburger heaven. Hamburger from paradise. Okay, this is the name of it. Paradise or heaven from God. Number. So, yes, second part of the picture, we see what? Three persons, they're tourists, tourists, one of them is a tour guide, tour guide, tourists. Where are they? They are climbing a mountain, climb a mountain, climb mountain. The woman? is looking at what village old village monuments remains so she's a tour guide now let's start to listen listen and practice jason and andrea let's start to listen ready Conversation. Where do you work? Part A. Listen and practice. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. This conversation between Jason and Andrea. First question. Where does Andrea work? Andrea, she works at what? At, Co at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? What's her job? She's a guide. Andrea is a guide. What does a guide do? A guide takes people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. So a guide takes people on tours. Does Andrea like her job? Yes, it's a great job. She loves it. What about Jason? What's his job? Jason is a student. He has a part-time job. What's a part-time job? A part-time job, a job for two hours every day. Two hours, three hours, four hours. Where does he work? Jason works in fast food restaurant. 
What is the name of the restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Now listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Jason do exactly and how does he like his job? So is he a cashier? Is he a chef? Is Jason an order taker? What's his job? Let's start to listen. Page 9, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Jason do exactly? How does he like his job? What do you do exactly? Do you make hamburgers? No, I don't. I just take orders. And what's it like there? Do you like your job? Sure. It's fun. And I get free hamburgers, too. So what's Jason's job? Jason is an order taker. Order taker, this is job in the USA or in supermarket, in restaurants, someone who takes customers' orders. Does Jason like his job? Yes, Jason likes his job because it's fun and he gets free hamburgers. He gets free burgers without paying money. Exercise number five, grammar focus. Let's have now the grammar. Let's listen. First we lesson. Page 10, Exercise 5, Grammar Focus. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. The simple present tense. The simple present, what does it express? Why do we use it? To express fact or habit. Repeated action, the action is repeated. Okay. How can I form it? How can I make it? Let's start to read. We are talking about the simple present. Okay, so let's get started. This is Homer Simpson. He has a wife and three children. He lives in a pink house. He works at a nuclear power plant. He likes donuts. What is his routine every day? He wakes up at 5.30. He takes a shower at 5.45. He eats breakfast at 6.15 or he has breakfast at 6.15.
He drives to work at seven. He finishes work at five. He eats dinner at seven. Or he has dinner at seven. He watches TV at eight. And he goes to bed at ten. Or he goes to sleep at ten. And that is his routine. Okay, so today the grammar is the simple present. The simple present is for routine actions and permanent things. For example, a routine. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday, he wakes up at 5.30. His routine, he wakes up at 5.30. The simple present. Also, permanent things. For example, descriptions. He has a family. Permanent. Also, a description. He has a family. He likes donuts. Again, a description of his personality. He likes donuts. Again, the simple present we use for routines and also permanent things. For example, descriptions. Very good. Now, the present simple conjugation is very, very easy. The subjects I, you, they, and we use the simple form of the verb. For example, they watch TV at night. The verb is in the simple form. Now, for the subjects, he, she, and it, we use a third person conjugation. The verb and s or es. For example, he watches TV at night. Again, the third person, he, uses conjugation with ES, watches, or she watches TV at night, or it watches TV at night. Again, the conjugation with I, you, they, and we, we use the normal verb. With he, she, and it, we use the third person conjugation, the verb, and s, or es. Very good. Some spelling. For the third person, sometimes we use the verb and ES or IES. So take a moment to look at the rules for the third person spelling. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck. Now, the irregular verbs for the simple present are go, do, and have. 
with the subjects I, you, we, and they, the verb is in the normal form. Go, do, and have. But with the subjects he, she, and it, the third person conjugation is irregular. For example, goes, does, has. Again, the third person conjugation is irregular. Go, goes, does, and has for he, she, and it. Very good. Okay, so now it's time to look at the negative form of the simple present. For the subjects I, you, they, and we, we use the negative auxiliary don't and the verb. Don't and the verb is the negative simple form. For example, they don't watch TV at night. The negative don't and the normal verb watch. Don't watch. Very good. Now for the third person subjects, he, she, and it, the negative auxiliary is doesn't. And that's the third person conjugation. We use the normal verb in the negative. For example, he doesn't watch TV at night. The normal verb. The third person conjugation is on the negative auxiliary. He doesn't. He doesn't watch TV at night. Or, she doesn't watch TV at night. Or, it doesn't watch TV at night. Again, the negative simple present form. The subjects I, you, they, and we use don't and the normal verb. The third person, he, she, it, we use doesn't for the negative and also the normal verb. Very good. Questions? Okay, so let's get started. Does Homer have a family? Yes, he does. Do they have a house? Yes, they do. What does he like? He likes donuts. Where do they live? They live in Springfield. Okay, the next part of the grammar are WH questions. WH questions are the same as normal questions but with a WH question word. So we use WH question word and the auxiliary and the subject and the verb. So for example where do they live? The question word the auxiliary do, my subject, they, and the verb live. Where do they live? 
they live in Springfield. Very good. And remember the third person conjugation. It's the same, but remember to use the third person question auxiliary, does. So for example, what time does he wake up? The question word, what time, the auxiliary, does, my subject, he, and my normal verb, wake up. Remember, this is the third person conjugation on the question auxiliary. So what time does he wake up? He wakes up at 5.30. Okay, time to practice. For the simple present, we said he, she, at, verb plus s, e, s, i, e, s. If the verb ends with y, like study, studies, I put i, e, s. He, she, at, i, e, s, studies. But, and there is a consonant, there is d before y. Okay? I put, I, I change the y into i and add e, s, studies. If the verb ends with O, like do, go, ch, teach, sh, wash, x, if the verb ends with x, o, ch, sh, or x, we put es, or ss, we put es with he, she, at. The negative. He, she, it doesn't. Plus main verb. He works a teacher. Negative. He doesn't work a teacher. She studies English every day. She doesn't study English every day. She usually goes to school. She doesn't go to school. Let's have double H questions and double H question as we said. We have question word like what, where, when, how, any question word. Do or does. Subject plus main verb. The subject with do, do we, do you, do they. Does, does he, does she, does it, does he, she, it. Plus Okay, the main verb after the subject. Now let's answer the question A and B. A. Complete this conversation, then practice with a partner. That's the picture. <coughs> What's this? It's a violin, a violin. So what do you do? B. I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? <coughs> and where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow! How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. I like, I like them a lot. Two, one minute, try to answer. What? What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. Tanya is a teacher. She teaches an art class. Teaches. You put ES. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. Because teach and with CH, put ES. And what about Ryan? Where? Where does he work? 
He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. He works. A. What does he do exactly? What does? What? He's a website designer. Designer, she's silent. He designs. Designs fantastic websites. B. Pair work. What do you know about these jobs? Complete the chart. Then write sentences about each job. Here we have three jobs. You make sentences about every job. A flight attendant works for an airline. Airline like Egypt Air. A flight attendant assists passengers, helps passengers. A flight attendant serves drinks. A doctor. What does a doctor do? A doctor works in a hospital. A doctor cares for patients. A doctor cares for patients, patients, sick people. A doctor gives medicines. What about teacher? A teacher works in a school. A teacher teaches classes. A teacher helps students. Helps students. Number C, ask your partner, ask your friend questions like this about work, school, yes, like, what do you do, what's your job? Where do you live? Do you study? Where? How do you like, how do you like your job? Where do you live? Do you work? Where? What's your favorite? What's your favorite job? What's your favorite hobby? What's What's your favorite town? What's your What's your favorite city to live in? What do you do? I'm a teacher. Do you study? No, I work. Where? I work in the Russian center. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. I like teaching a lot. What's your favorite subject? English is my favorite subject. Where do you live? I live in Cairo. This is the end of Unit 2, Part 1. Interchange 1. Unit 2. How do you spend your day? Page 8. 1. Spend, spend, spend. Job. Job, British, American. Job, O-A. Job. Career. Profession. Salary. Money from work. Working conditions. The situation at work. Hours. H silent. Hours. Civity. Vacation benefits. Vacation benefits. Hours. Pitch silent. Benefits. Advantages. Security. Civity. T. Soft D. Civity. Dangers. Not safe. Not O A. Safe. Exercise number two. Office work. Company director. Receptionist. Website designer. Designer, G silent. Secretary, an American also secretary. Sales manager. Travel industry. Flight attendant, GH silent. Pilot, tour guide. Travel agent. Hotel manager. Server. Waiter, waiter, 
T is after the waiter. Cashier, person who takes money. Chef, a cook. Dishwasher, host, hostess. Schedule, schedule, British schedule. Timetable, flexible, flexible, able to bend. Grocery store cashier. Office worker, word processor, gain, gain knowledge, gain experience, entertainment business, dancer, musician, singer, actor, disc jockey, DJ, someone who plays music records, someone who plays music records. Actress. Number four, exercise four. What do you do? What's your job? Take orders. Free. Full time. Part time. Construction company. Building company. Department store. Exercise five. How do you like your classes? Fantastic, wonderful, an airline, assist, support, passenger, serve drink. So if I make them plural, it's going to be what? Serve drinks, care for, patient, sick, L. What's your day like? I am pretty busy. I'm too busy. Violin. A musical instrument. So this is the end. Violin, a musical instrument. Now we, this is the end of the vocab book for unit two, first part. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.